to Lengstein Media. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Lengstein Media. Uh, and welcome, my guest for to for tonight, Brother Sholdu. And welcome to Lengstein Media. Before I know that uh, we have uh, this interview would be at least thirty minutes or less because of a uh, network over there where you at, uh, Brother Shaw. Welcome to Lengstein Media. I want I would like to say thank you for accepting my invitation to Lengstein Media. So I will give you a floor to introduce yourself, and then and uh, is that my interview with you? Thank you again. Go ahead. Uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, it's my pleasure to be on your show. Yeah, thank thank you, uh, uh, brother Chudwam. Um, I have the one question to ask you. I want to just go ahead with the question that I want. Um, as all the viewers, please start share the video. Uh, my question, my first question to you is why you resigned from uh, South Sudan United Front? Uh, yes, uh, 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 I have to, to go straight to, 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 to that uh, question. Yes. Uh, my resignation uh, uh, at South Sudan United Front uh, was on, uh, on personal uh, 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 issues uh that uh i could not continue uh serving uh as the spokesperson there uh due to personal uh, issues so that's why i resigned so you mean that personal issues is connected with the political issues or your personal life hello um yeah, did you get my uh, follow-up question? My follow-up question is regarding about, you said that you resigned from the uh, South Sudan United Front because of your personal issues. Is it your personal life or is it not connected with the political uh, go on with the uh, South Sudan United Front and government of South Sudan? Uh, well, uh, you know, uh, 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 you know, for any young uh, South Sudanese who is aspiring uh, to uh contribute uh you know in the in the in the in the nation building uh, like myself uh i i saw that uh, uh i did my best you know at south Sudan united front and i i felt maybe time had come for me to 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 come back home and to also serve uh, in different capacity and as well uh, be close to my family uh i i felt like we were not uh contributing in any way while outside the country uh, because the country needs us very, very uh, much. And I felt uh, coming back home and contribute directly would be uh, a better uh, decision for me. So are you at home right now? Are you in Juba? Right now, as I speak to you, I am right uh, at the heart of Juba city, the capital of the Republic of South Sudan. And I was very very highly welcomed by the South Sudanese, both uh, the youth and within the government circle, as well as uh, from my community, uh, from where I come. Well, welcome back home, sweet home. Is sweet Thank home. you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yes. Um, before, yes, my next uh, question to follow up on that question is about, you know, you are not only a person of uh, a small person of South Sudan United Front. There were two ahead of you before you you come to the person. The first one is yes. Ibn Rasani John, and yes. second one is Nyamite. So, is it the reason these two small person, uh, Emmanuel and uh, Nyamite, resign? Is it yes. the issue you resign from uh, South Sudan United Front? Uh, with with uh, with due respect, uh, I. I it's it's quite it's quite similar yeah it's quite similar mm -hmm. although i wouldn't i wouldn't go into detail about uh uh how and why the other two uh, individuals resigned in in the same position which i i later held uh i i can only say that uh to some extent yes the reason sometimes is quite similar so why don't you guys tell the public the reason why you guys are resigning? Because um, when uh, Emmanuel resigned, when uh, we, we bring Emmanuel in, let's say, media to interview him, and he declined to say 
what is the root cause why he stepped down. And when Nyabek, Sister Nyabek resigned, um, we invited her and she accepted to come to the statement and then in the last minute, she declined to, to come and say. And now you are accepting her, but you don't want to answer the question that the reason why you you three of you are resigned from that position. Is it because the movement, the South Sudan United Front or the leader of the United States General Paul Malunga one, is not treating you guys equally or right way, or the movement is not going accordingly the way that you you guys want. Uh, I I I I wouldn't really uh, uh, talk about uh, the person of uh, Jerome Malong. Uh, I, I respect him, uh, but I would say that uh, you know South Sudan as a country and the people of South Sudan. Uh, need us back, uh, you know, to, to 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 help, you know, and contribute directly. Uh, President Kiri, if you can remember, uh, I actually offered amnesty, you know, to everybody who is outside the country uh, opposing the the government. And so, uh, I felt it was, uh, you know, the window for me to 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 come back uh, and be able, you know, to be to be part of the nation building. Uh, General Malong, uh, as a person. Uh, would also follow nobody knows uh, because sometimes it comes to individual uh, 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 situation and that's why I'm back home and uh, I, I, I really can't talk uh, for Nyamach or uh, Sunday Dijon uh, the, the reason why they left like I said earlier uh, could could be to some extent uh, you know similar to to why I left but I don't know they know very much uh, more than uh, I can, I can, I can discuss it with you here. Uh, but uh, the bottom line is that uh, I was coming home to, you know, to to my people and to to be able to offer what I can, you know, as as a citizen, you know, and as as well as a member of this uh, beautiful nation of South Sudan. Yeah, uh, you know, people were surprised when they see you when you put out your resignation letter. Uh, because we were following you when General Paul went to uh, Italy, Rome, for the peace negotiation with the government. And we see that uh, we're getting the news from you, from your social media, you update the public how they talk go. And suddenly, and suddenly, you resign. So we, people were shocked about it. So, and that's the reason why, because next day media here is I and the voice for people to so that people can hear the truth. And that's why you came and uh, explained yourself. And that's good to the public can know exactly why why Mr. Scholz uh, is resigned from the uh, from the South Sudan United Front. So why for the last minute? Because the government and uh, Soma too, which is uh, the former now you have former Soma. I don't know is it uh, for for Ghana and General Malong is Soma two or Soma one? Sometimes I mix them up. So why for this? Like for the last minute that the peace negotiation with the Soma, with General Paul and General Lapagan is going well in, in Italy. Here on the show, we bring uh, um, Dr. Uh, Dr. Uh, Bernardo Marial in this show. And he explained that the, the, the talk is going on well in, in Rome. But your resignation highlight that there is something going on in uh, South Sudan United Front. Can you uh, brief? The public, why? Why for the last minute you resigned? Why the uh, South Sudan United Front is on, on top of the government? You know, like 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 I I, I did say earlier on uh, that uh, I I really no longer speak for South Sudan United Front now, mm -hmm. and so I'm here only to speak for myself, and as well uh, for I mean about how. Uh, and why I I came back. The only thing that I can say is that you know anybody living uh, any party outside South Sudan uh, is doing it for the interest of peace, for the interest of the people of South Sudan, and for the interest of the government that is now you know implementing the agreement. So uh, I do not see that it it it, it should be a shock you know to uh, many South Sudanese why I decided to come back home. Because at the end of the day, this is this is home, you know, Kenya or wherever people are is not home to us. This is home, South Sudan, 
and right now I am enjoying the atmosphere, you know, and uh, and uh, and the weather, you know, in Juba. So right. and uh, so uh, anybody else will 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 come later. So uh, that's what I can say. I do not speak for uh, for South, and I am speaking for myself. But the only thing I can say is that uh, you know South Sudan needs all of us. Anybody, I think. Uh, according to the amnesty that uh, the, the president has offered, is uh, allowed to come back home. And that's why, you know, I took the advantage of that amnesty to return, you know, to, to my country. And uh, like you saw it, uh, how, you know, I was received. Uh, it, it tells you that uh, nobody is, uh, you know, for, for war or for uh, propaganda or for online, you know, uh, uh, hate, you know, or campaign that is, uh, that is, that is happening or that, that we see. So people are for peace, you know, and we, we have to come back home and, you know, support the peace, you know, the peace that is being implemented, you know, support our people, uh, encourage them. As you know, I'm a journalist and I'm as well an activist. So, uh, we advocate, you know, for, for the rights of, of, you know, of the common people. And so being closer to them, it helps a lot, you know, and that's why uh, I felt, you know, it's important to, to, to come back. So as for uh, SAF, I, I don't know, I cannot talk about that. Uh, I, it's not in my interest uh, to discuss uh, about why uh, uh, people are resigning. Uh, I think it's something that, uh, that is uh, of an individual knowledge, or maybe South Sudanese, uh, from the common sense, you know, can be able to conclude why everybody is you know resigning otherwise i cannot i don't want to talk ill about 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 anybody i, I respect everybody and anybody and uh, uh I, yeah that's what i can say so um well when you left uh when you left uh south Bank united front and you wrote the letter did you did you talk with your own call and how he felt when you submitted in your residential letter how did you feel for you to leave? Uh, well, uh, you know, for one to resign, uh, you must have always, you know, made your mind, you know, before you make it public. And so I made my mind that I was coming home and I uh, offered my resignation, you know, to, to SAF and to to Dora Malong. And so, uh, I, I don't know what the reaction was or it still is. Uh, I think it's something that uh, that is within their, you know, their circle. I think they're the ones who know, who know better how they how they reacted to that resignation. But all in all, I I, I am back home, and uh, there are so many ways, you know, to help uh, the country, you know. And so one of the ways to help the country is supporting the peace and uh, encouraging uh, South Sudanese you know to to promote unity and that's why uh i will i, I feel i will continue you know the, the 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 efforts you know towards peace and unity of our people yes um have you talked to um yeah because i want to uh, i know you are not answering some of my questions but i that's why i'm going back a little bit you are a journalist and you know the reason why i, I just come across so you um you said that okay when you left uh, mm. did you, uh, you haven't, Jordan Malone haven't reached out to you? Uh, say that again? I, I, I said that when you left uh, to, uh, uh, Nairobi to Juba, Jordan mm. Malone haven't reached out to you? Uh, I really cannot discuss that, but uh, I really cannot discuss that here. Okay. Uh, whether, whether he tried or, or not, I uh, cannot discuss that here. That's all I can say. I cannot confirm or deny. Okay. That is the video. That's the video uh, you were interviewed. I saw that video. You said that in that interview that uh, you, you said that you are not a rebel, but you are a journalist who, who adds a... Can you, can you, what do you mean about that? Can you explain more about it? Why you, you said you are not a rebel, but you are a spokesperson uh, on the South Sudan United Front? Well, you know, the, the word rebel itself is, is, is a negative word. And... Uh, uh, we we are trying to to misplace that word, you know, mm -hmm. uh, to identify people who are negative. Uh, I mean, people who are you know uh, in opposition. 
So personally, I, I was a journalist here, as you know. I know I, I worked for SSBC, mm -hmm. and when I when I left when I left here, uh, I left as a journalist, and I was in exile. So uh, uh, there's nowhere where I, I promote war or encourage war. So uh, and I did not identify with anybody, or I was not even uh, you know joining forces with anybody who was you know promoting war. So I was in Nairobi, and and much of the work that i was doing was 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 media and so it wasn't even a war media so me coming back again it still tells tells you that uh uh you know i i was a journalist and i was in a rebel so a rebel is is you know is is, is somebody who, who was involved in in a war you know trying to remove uh, a sitting government and so I, I i was in something like that and i didn't i didn't you know support war uh and i am back in the country and i have to really clarify to the people that uh i don't want to identify with that word uh, i'm not a rebel i am a journalist and so people have to know that right but you know people were wondering that you know they were say ah you know you are a poor person of south sudan united front and south sudan united front is one of the uh a movement that want to overthrow the current uh president uh government of president Salva Kiir Miyani. and when you say that you are not a rebel you are a, uh, you uh, that mean that why people cannot take that because you are a poor person and uh so Sudan Yari Front is a, one of the rebels movement which is want to again the government of South Sudan we want to overthrow the government so that's why people were wondering about that and that's the reason why I want to bring that question up so that you can answer that very clearly and um and another thing to um, my next question that I want to ask, because I don't want to push you a lot, because I my a lot of questions I ask you, and I didn't get a, a clear answer from you, but that's fine. So my next question is about when you left. Uh, now you are in Juba. Did government offer you a job, or you are returning back to your old position, your old job, be a journalist officer of uh, news? You know, first of all, I you know I I am returning home. That's the first thing. You know, to to my family my friends you know to 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 my colleagues and as well to you know to the people of south sudan and as well you know to you know our government the government of the day that is you know implementing the peace agreement so uh, whether i am to to get a job is is not up to the government so it, 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 i don't want it to be seen like maybe uh, uh, if 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 i am to to get a job then definitely the, there must have been certain arrangement or you know to you know that that result to that so i i, I first of all uh, i was coming back to you know to my people so whether i'm to to work or not it's 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 up to me as a person not as as whether you know uh, someone somewhere would would offer me a job so there's nothing like that uh, i was coming back home you know my family you know my mom and and, and so these are the people who persuaded me to return. It, it, nobody was involved at all. But I, I, I have to really uh, thank, you know, the government of South Sudan, you know, uh, our president, you know, for uh, letting me return. Because I, I, how could I have come back, you know? And because I was involved in, I was involved in, in opposition. And so uh, coming back, I had to, you know, to, you know, you, you being allowed back to the country, you know, rest with the government of the day. And so uh, I have to thank, you know, the government of South Sudan for, you know, doing that, for, for allowing me back. And and also I have to, to appreciate and thank my family, you know, for facilitating my return. Uh, so uh, when you ask about whether I am to return to my old job or whether someone somewhere would offer me a job, I, 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 I really don't see it that way because uh, of course, there are jobs, and it's up to me to, to 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 write my CV and apply and get a job. And if South Sudanese at one point saw me doing something better where I was, I, I think someone somewhere would also uh, want me to help. And so I I am ready and willing to 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 work and to to support my my family, support uh, South Sudan in the way I can. So that's all I can say. All righty. Uh, thank you, Chol uh, Wang. That's uh, a real good. Um, Yes, we know that we saw that uh, we all want peace to come to the back of South Sudan, and that's the, uh, one of priority that 
and you are one of the good examples that people are carrying their home. That's good. And also, too, we are encouraging the rest of the uh, opposition that this time is a season of peace and people won't return back home. So even uh, General Paul, hopefully, uh, government, South Sudan government, and uh, they will come to the last agreement. So those uh, those people who are still pull out opposition can return back home so that our people need that peace. And as it is a time that all, all, all these differences have been put aside and it's a time for development and bring uh, the last in peace that our people were is yearning for for the last uh, seven, eight years. So um, so now, so you will, um, my next question, which is, uh, so can you call that, I will, um, I finish here and some of the people are asking you, but the same question that you, you already, can you, uh, uh, can you tell us more about uh, what your future will be? Uh, yes, you know, uh, I think in most cases, you know, your future is always identified with, with, with the profession or the, uh, you know, your current position. And so uh, my future would be uh, determined by, uh, by my profession, the profession that I do. I, I am so much into political communication and activism and, you know, and while still, you know, uh, 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 retaining you know my career as a journalist so it's up to me whether what what kind of uh, uh of uh, of uh, a career that i want to you know to, to 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 continue to pursue uh but my future of course identifies so much with with, with the profession that I, that you know that i have which is which is media so uh while saying that as well uh, you know uh, we want to we want to to speak directly to to young south sudanese uh, to be able to uh, to occupy, you know, their position in the society and the country as well. Uh, I, I, from what I see when I came back, uh, uh, government is, is trying its best, you know, to, uh, to you know, to provide uh, opportunities, you know, uh, for our young people, you know, to be able to, to reach their potential. And so I, I am hopeful that uh, uh, with peace, you know, being implemented and, and uh, people returning, uh, we never know uh, things could improve you know rapidly and so i i am so hopeful that's what i can say that's good and my next question is about how your colleague from uh South Sudan united front that left in in uh in nairobi or somewhere else in east africa or was in south sudan how do they feel about you returning back home uh say that again are you are you talking about about, yeah, I'm talking about your your, your colleague in uh, in United uh, South Sudan United Front that who live in Juba with you. They were working with you in the United Front. How do they feel? How do they feel about you when you're returning back? You mean those who, who are already here or those who, who are oh, still who are, still away? Still, still uh, with, uh, Paul. Paul. Well, I, res I I respect their views and I respect you know what what they what they intend to to pursue. Uh, uh, there, but uh, I, I do believe that everybody is, you know, is, is wishing to come back home. Uh, uh, they, I respect them very much and they respect me too. And, and we enjoy a lot of relationship. Uh, I believe that, uh, I don't know, no, it's up to individual, uh, you know, label, you know, to decide what, what they want to do, you know, with their life. But I do think that, uh, you know, they, they really want to come home and they miss home. I, I can't speak for them. I don't know what, they, what they're thinking now. But what I do know is that everybody wants to come back home, uh, uh, you know, and do something, you know, for, for the country. You know, you, 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 at, 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 at certain points, you, you, you've got to, you know, to be on the ground, including you, Madid. Uh, you know, you've got to be on the ground here in, in, in the country and, and, and do something. I, I know you're doing a great thing, and that's why you offer a platform for us to, you know, to, to, to be heard, uh, which is a great thing. But also, this legislative media has to be, you know, on the ground here. It has to, to have, uh, you know, offices and employ even more young South Sudanese. So, uh, w uh, when you ask me about uh, members of uh, of my former uh, party, I, I, I do think uh, they know what they are doing, and I respect I respect them. I respect them very much, and yeah. So are you are you persuading them to to come to go back home, like leave the? 
Now you uh, give the modifiers that leave the suspect yard front and, and go back home. Uh, well, yeah, I, uh, you know, as 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 somebody who is uh, guided by you know by my profession, I I do not, uh, you know, I, I I leave it up to up to someone, you know, to decide what they want to do with their life. I I I I really don't know what they want to do, but what I do think is that perhaps anybody might want to come to come back home, uh, if not. This year, maybe next year, I don't know. I, you know, including Jerome Malong, he might want to return. I respect him, and and yeah, you know, the country is for all of us, and uh, it's very big, and it can accommodate everybody. And yeah, so I'm not persuading anybody. Uh, it's up to their decision, you know, uh, to to decide uh, when do they want to return home. At the end of the day, the country, you know, for which you know they belong is not done. Not. Not, 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 you know, not another country. Yeah, that's what I can say. All right. Thank you. Uh, thank, uh, thank you, uh, brother Joel, Joel, uh, for coming into late same media. I think my, uh, all my questions, I put them in, and I know that network over there and it's late in Juba. So, and also network is bad there. So, um, I think I will stop here and I will give you for the last word before I, uh, let you go. Well, thank you. You know, uh, as you know, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a politician, so I, I, I don't know how to, how to, you know. You are politician. I don't know how to live. You get answered them at all. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I actually, my message goes out to to all uh, my fellow young South Sudanese, where where wherever they, they may be listening, uh, from and uh that you know they, they 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 should you know think about what they want to do you know for south sudan and they are, the best way is to come back home you know and come and do something uh when i realized uh you know my dream to be a journalist it was here you know in, in the country and i'm very very lucky that you know uh i am part of the of the of the first south sudanese you know crop of journalists you know I, of in an independent country which i which i which i believe i would not have gotten if we were still you know the sudan so south sudan has, has provided you know to us so much opportunities and that's why you know i was able to to to, to discover my my potential you know by becoming a journalist on on a national television it's a great opportunity that the country has offered you know for me and it was made possible by our liberators you know who fought for this country, including our president and anybody else, you know, that, that contributed. And so uh, being outside there uh, could only be if you are in school or you are you're having a job that, you know, that, that is keeping you there. But if nothing else, uh, I think people have to come back home and people have to, to, to come and, and do something, you know, for, you know, with their lives and be able to, to, to support, you know, the development and, you know, of course, uh, the peace that is ongoing, and and from there we'll see what happens. You know, so that's what I can say, and I and I I want to conclude that I I do respect everybody. I know, you know, during my time, as you know, uh, I don't know, I may have I may have I may have clashed with with people, and so I, I tend to 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 believe that it's always important that people you know uh, meet again, and th th of course there has to be you know, an, an understanding. And so I do respect everybody, uh, whether we met uh, by any chance and we and there was that uh, back and forth, uh, you know, uh, argument or something. And also to my colleagues uh, who are still outside, I know one day they will come back home. I, I respect them and I wish them good luck. And thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Comrade uh, Shol Wang. Thank you again for coming to Lake Media. Enjoy yourself with your family. I know that you meet them so much. And this time is the time that you, I know how it feels like when you go home and see your loved one. Because I remember I was there two months ago and I will spend my time with my family. These are good things. You stay away for a long time, period of time, and then you go back home and meet them. So it's a blessing. It's a blessing that you will spend your your time with your family, with your loved one. Uh, part my greeting to them. And thank you again for coming to Real State Media. Have a wonderful night. And uh, I hope I will bring you back once again when I see you um, doing things. Thank you. Once again. Thank you. Have a good night.
Thank you very much. My pleasure. Yeah, thank you. Thank you everybody for watching. Um, for you guys uh, watching, you have it. You have it. My uh, interview with uh, you have it. My interview with uh, Comrade uh, Choldwang. You have his uh, my question and he answers and he, and he explained himself. So that is uh, that the last is remain with you for the um, for public opinion. Thank you for uh, watching again. Uh, let me play my song before I close up the show. Zero, zero, I think a kick, a book, a guard, a book, a yelling, a yelling, It's your boy, I'm I give him that thing. But your leg is staying in the back of your leg is staying in America. But you need one, the banana, walk on your leg, and car, watch on the watch. Oh, God, let me get you here. Wow, leg. Panda with ya, Panchida America, Pania to all of us now. Chingatongo Pandon could you ever buy a checker? Pantu Panda, you will be happy. Panchira America, 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 Panchira